All right, friends, I just got out of Zumba class. I am here. It opened an hour ago. I don't see any carts in the parking lot. In the past, it was very hard to get a cart here, so I'll let you know how it goes. I have my Lulu hip pack. I've got my credit card in here. I've got some hand sanitizer, some chapstick, some lozenges because it can be dusty and I have allergies. And of course, I've got my big Ikea bag, so hopefully I'll get some footage in there. Let's see how it goes. So here's the damage. I have an Ikea bag and two bags pretty close to the Ikea bag size filled up all the way. My second trip in there, it was $94. First one was 70 something. So, hey friends, it's Quenby, the Grateful Queen here on YouTube. Welcome back for part two of my epic bins haul. Hopefully you've watched part one where I show you a little bit of the bins and tell you that my bins have been closed for literally three years and they just reopened. Right now they're just doing clothing, but I think they're gonna start hard good soon. I spent a couple hours there. Everything you're gonna see in this epic, huge, amazing thrift haul is $94.23. I'll try and remember to count up all the items and then I can just tell you how much each item costs. That's called cost averaging. It's a little bit easier than figuring out exactly what something weighed and how much it costed. Costed, is that a word? Anyhow, <laughs> I recorded the first part of the haul already and I'm desperate to record this second half with you guys because I need inventory to list. I, I put it on this rack I steam it all, I photograph it all, and then I list it. And I have zero death pile right now, with the exception of one bin of shoes that needs to be washed and processed. I'm not good at the shoe thing. So, okay, so this is the first huge bag. <laughs> it's a lot of stuff, okay? I am so grateful. I've been listing 10 items a day, seven days a week lately. My eBay sales are up by over 30 percent because I'm listing every day and I need a lot to list. I'm running out of stuff to list. This is Millie, which is a good brand and I might have to keep this top for myself. I'm going to try it on because it's an XL and it's this gorgeous lightweight gauze thin peasant top and it has like a, a three-fourth sleeve with a bell. This would be perfect for me for work. I'm a, a part-time reseller. I've been selling on eBay and Poshmark for over 10 years. Well, well, 11 years on eBay and a few years on Poshmark, but I am a full-time psychotherapist. I have another channel called The Grateful Therapist about mental health. Uh, so feel free to check out that channel as well. I don't usually film in here, so I'm, I'm trying to figure out the best way to do it. <laughs> this is Mango. You'll see this tag mango this is popular like in the uk i love this style of jacket i pick it up whenever i see a cute one like an olive green hooded cargo military jacket with pockets this one's an extra small where am i gonna put all this stuff let me get a big tub here we go there we go um, do you guys own one of those jackets? I own a couple of them and they're like my go-to. They're such a great lightweight layer you can throw on over anything. So this is a stylish skirt by Sadie and Love in a size large. Sadie and Love. And it's like a knee length skirt with a bell and buttons down the front. Now, I'm just letting you know, I literally just thrifted all this stuff today and it's in giant bags. I have not steamed it or washed it or done anything yet. So you guys are getting it like hot off the press. This will look so cute after I steam it. It's got little pockets, but right now it probably doesn't look as good as it could. <laughs> My favorite stuff to pick up, J. Jill, size large petite. I pick this up all the time and I pay, 
you know, up to like five or six dollars for this at the thrift store because pull on stretchy black pants. I can sell these for 20 to 30 all day long. Great bread and butter item. This is the only American Eagle I picked up, I think. I passed on most of the American Eagle because it just has not been selling well enough for me. But these are such a cool style. They're a high rise corduroy with a big flare. I think they're probably that like retro fit through the hips there. Corduroys are really popular. And guess what? The skinny leg is out. The loose fit, the baggy, and the flare is in. This is one of my best finds, but it needs a little work, but I thought, thought it was worth it. Love and Liberty. This brand has done collabs with Johnny Was. I think they're somehow affiliated. This is a gauzy, thin, white embroidered peasant top. It has a few little stains on it. So I'm hoping that I can't get those out because if I can't get the stains out, <laughs> then I might have to keep it. Sorry if the light in here is weird. I'm literally like in my garage. This is another J. Jill piece. I'm going really fast, you guys, because this is a huge haul. J. Jill Lux Supima sleeveless top, Supima cotton. So cute. Like a loose fit olive green tunic top. I will pick up J. Jill all day long. Give me all the J. Jill. This is amazing, amazing, amazing. This is Outdoor Research. This is a size large, like lightweight windbreaker jacket. This is such a good brand. Now, when you find these jackets, you have to check the inside lining because what's very common is for that to crack, crack and peel. So I checked this one. I'm like, there's got to be something wrong with this jacket. And at the bins for $3.49 a pound, which is very expensive for the bins, actually. I was like, what is wrong with this? I can't find anything wrong with it. I mean, it looks like a new jacket. So I'll pop up comps of what I hope to get for that. Some J. Jill shorts in a size 10. I love this chartreuse split pea color. This is Columbia. I do not pick up all of Columbia, but this looks like a very new current piece. It says small, so it must be a men's small. It's so nice. This is a men's blue plaid flannel. It's got the branding here. This just looks like a very current new style. It's super soft in really good condition. Michael, Michael Kors. This is not something I normally pick up, but I have sold it. People like it, but these are an XL like silky jogger pant. It's a jogger if it goes down and has an elastic ankle. That's a jogger and it's a very popular style and these are an XL. XL pants sell amazing for me. This big chunky sweater I'll have to do some research on. I just thought it was so cool. It says Flo de Astore Ravello. Anyone recognize this tag? It feels amazing and the style is very cool. So um, it's a snap front oversized sweater with its dolman. So dolman is when it's very wide across the chest and it has narrow sleeves. Look at the cool square buttons. This is a very nicely made piece. Um, it feels amazing. Sometimes, you know, you take a risk on something like this. This is like, I'm going to put lag and look, boho, artsy, art to wear, because this has those sort of vibes. Something white, probably for me, because I love wearing white. And I'm in Northern California. I wear white all year round. Th these are Kona Soul in an XL. This is sort of like swim, cover-up, resort wear kind of stuff. These are white flowy pants, and they have a big slit. And then this ties around the front, so those will do great in a large size. I got these Adidas because they're an XL kind of an athletic pant, Adidas with the Climalite blue stripe in an XL. I passed on so much athletic wear. I got this Nike Pro also because it's an XL. It's a black V-neck silky athletic top. In the large sizes, I can sell almost anything. This is a really great pickup. This is J. Jill again. Go J. Jill size large. 
light pink linen flowy sweater tunic that is so great for this season. This is a very cool item. It's a jumpsuit and it's that denim chambray and it's by the brand Love Stitch and it's a size medium. I like this brand, but I don't hear a lot about it. Love Stitch, it's sold at Nordstrom. I've sold Love Stitch uh, gauzy maxi dresses. I've sold really funky handbags that they sell. This thing is so cute. If it's a lightweight denim like this and it might be like Lyocell or Tencel, um, you call it chambray. One piece with a very low back, wide leg jumpsuit. I feel really bad, you guys, because <laughs> I'm showing you this stuff like fresh out of the bag. I'm gonna put it on this rack. I'm gonna steam it all. I'm gonna take gorgeous photos. And something like this, a wide-legged jumpsuit, is going to be great. But I'm not doing a good job showing it to you. Hold on, I'm gonna pause. I gotta get some water. Okay, I'm back. This I don't know much about, but the style of it is so gorgeous, okay? It's a peplum, so if it if a top or a jacket or something goes in at the waist and then kind of flares out again, it's a peplum hem, hem very feminine. This is all lace crochet, and um, it has a zipper down the back. It's really well made. It's got a padded underwire bra inside. I don't know this brand, though. It's called Angel... Biba, and this is a size eight. Let me know if you've heard of any of these things. And if I happen to get a chance to do research before putting these videos out, I'll leave you some info. That is so pretty and cute. This is Torrid size two, which is a two X. Torrid's a plus size brand. And this is a button down silky blush pink top. These feel amazing. Oh, these are beta, beta brand, size medium long. I love this brand. Beta brand is known for making these pants that are nice enough that you could wear to work, like career pants, but they feel like yoga pants. And this is a gray kind of uh, wide leg style. These used to sell like 40, 45 bucks. I think the market's gone down on that brand. What do you guys think? Are you still picking up and selling it? This is Tommy Bahama, and it's an, an XXL. Tommy Bahama used to sell great. Now it sells okay. I try and stick to special pieces, like their silk button-down men's Hawaiian tops or embroidered stuff. This I got, it feels really nice. It's a polo, but it's an XXL, and it's the bin, so I got it. This is Urban X. This is a women's large top. And it's a nice, like, tunic, asymmetrical t-shirt. It's got, like, a burnout to it. It's got little rhinestones on it. Really flowy. That'll look so good on my mannequin as a tunic. This I picked up because it's Swim by Land's End. I don't pick up a lot of Land's End. It's an outdoor brand. It's a preppy brand. A lot of people in New England wear it. Land's End. This has a built-in bra. I don't see the size right off, but it looks like a bigger size. And it's a tankini top. I'm selling a lot of swim. My favorite swim to sell is anything that's like miracle suit or magic suit. Anything slimming is doing really well. This is so cool. These are level 99, which is a brand that is sold at Anthropology. I don't know if this pair was. Check these out. Look at the wide leg flare on these. They're crazy. This is a huge flare jean and they're new with tag, level 99. I've never seen this new with tag. I've sold it before. Um, level 99, new with tag, size 26. So they're kind of small. I don't think this is an anthropology pair because it doesn't have that tag. But that's pretty cool. They're kind of a low-rise, super, super flare. I'm so excited to have all this inventory, you guys. I've been, like, in the dregs of my death pile. Listing the stuff that's, like, either list it now or donate it. I have several huge trash bags going out. When I used to buy way more Thread Up Rescue boxes and mystery boxes, I'd end up with all this stuff that's, like, mm, not quite good enough to list. Maybe I'll send it to Thread Up. Maybe I'll donate it. And it kind of ended up sitting around. So now I'm, I've am i needed inventory, so I'm listing a lot of the stuff that's not great. 
So I'm so glad to now have a bunch of stuff. This is a Bra Sweet Nothings by Maiden Form. I talked about this in my last video. I love bras at the bins because this thing weighs like less, maybe four ounces. And um, you don't have to measure, you don't have to do anything. You just list those. I've been selling a ton of bras. This is gorgeous and it's silk and it probably weighs, again, like two ounces. New York City Design Co. 100% silk. Not a brand that I was crazy about or anything, but I love this print. See this kind of like very interesting artsy print and the colors, gorgeous. And it has a, f a ruffly sleeve. Anything 100% silk is kind of a safe pickup, I think. Here's another bra by Leading Lady Style 5415 in a 42D. So, I, so with bras, here's a few tips. If you know some great brands, like Spanx or Soma or even Victoria's Secret, pick them up. They should be really clean, okay, really good condition. Larger sizes do better. So I'm not picking up like Victoria's Secret little A-cup bras. I'm picking up these larger size bras in really great shape. If they have a style name, I can often find a stock photo, so I barely have to do anything with those. These are Nike Dry Fit. I don't pick up a ton of Nike because I don't know a lot about it. I don't know what's hot, but these are uh, size XL with a super like high rise and a mess panel in the back. XL black leggings. Everyone needs those, right guys? That's right. <laughs> I know I'm going a lot faster. I'm still trying to give you great keywords. I hope you're learning some new brands or styles that might sell well for you. I have so much stuff. I'm just taking you through it. And then I can start processing it all. This is um, Tasso Elba. This is the men's brand. It's sold at places like Macy's Nordstrom. But these are a size 42, which is a big size, and they're 100% linen. I don't pick up everything by this brand. They make a lot of men's linen wear. They're kind of like a Tommy Bahama brand. Very similar. But I got these because we're going into spring, summer. Those are a big size, neutral linen pants. So a guy's going to want those. Oh my god, I had to. A little tiny The Rolling Stones t-shirt. How cute is that? What size is it? <laughs> it's a um, 3T. It doesn't even look that big, is it? That's so cute. A little band tee for your baby boy. Oh, that would be fun. One more bag. Let's do it, right? Let's just get it done. Ugh. And then I'll count up the items and I'll let you know how much I paid. Every single thing you see here, this huge tub that I just emptied, $94. It's kind of a lot for the bins, but I got a lot of stuff. This I picked up because of seasonality. It's Columbia. It's a size large. The reason I'm picking up this type of stuff like these is because we're going into the season of hiking, camping, and these sort of like silky... Uh, moisture wicking type stuff is what everybody's going to be looking for. I don't know what this is. It's a cute little bralette, I think. <laughs> I think it's like a bralette. Actually, now I'm now I don't exactly know. I think it's some type of cool bralette, but I don't know. The brand is Woven, designed in Los Angeles. It just seemed kind of cool, and I was at the bins, and I'm like, sure, I'll spend. 50 cents to learn about this. I think it's some kind of strappy, teeny bralette. This is the cutest thing ever. I think it's another jumpsuit by Skylar and Madison in a size small. Wait till you see how cute it is. So I think it's a jumpsuit or it's a pair of pants. Oh, I think it's pants. Super wide leg floral pants with this tie that comes around smocking in the back. I mean on the sides. All this elastic is smocking, which is so popular right now. Look at the wide leg on these. That is so fun. And look at the print. That's so pretty, right? Love it. This I looked up because I didn't know what it is. The brand is Open Edit. It looks like comps are like 25 bucks. Open Edit. I have absolutely no clue how this sweater goes. I mean, <laughs> I was at the bins like, look at it. But I googled it, not googled it. I need more water. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> I went to Zumba this morning, 
Drove to the bins, was there three hours, came home, showered, went out and picked Torvald up, dropped it off my shipping, came home, filmed the first haul video. Now I'm filming the second haul video. So this day's epic. I'm going to earn my five o'clock glass of wine. Anyway, this sweater is some cool, wrappy sort of thing. I'll have to get that baby on my mannequin. <laughs> like, what is this? I got this because it's an XL Eddie Bauer new with tags. Again, for this... uh. $40, $39.99, a super lightweight, gauzy button-down shirt, perfect for hiking. This I have to look up. I bought it for style. Lulu Yasmin, never heard of it. It could be boutique. If you know about any of these things, be sure to let us know. Do you like my super hot pink Easter nails? <laughs> Easter Sunday, so I wanted some fun. Spring nails, this is so cute. It's a black dress with all this like cutout stuff, smocking at the waist, a little skirt. I'm like, is it a romper? No, it's a skirt. I love all this detailing here. All this like cutout detailing. And the back's open. Has like an open back. Are you guys doing all your photos on a hanger against a white wall? Or are you doing mannequin or flat lay or what? I went back to mannequin because I do believe my dresses and tunics and stuff look way better on the mannequin, but it's faster, of course, to just do it on a hanger. So this I bought, it's super cute dress, Ann Taylor Loft, size medium, pink. I really like the print on this. It's like a rayon dress. It's like a shirt dress. It buttons down the front and it has a little belt. And guess what? It has the belt with it and it's got pockets. So cute. I don't pick up a lot of loft. It's not a big, great seller for me. But um, spring, summer, that's a perfect little dress for somebody. These are Hugo, Hugo Boss. Now, Hugo Boss is a very expensive designer. Some of it sells and some of it doesn't. <laughs> I have some Hugo Boss women's career wear that has been sitting around forever. But these are so cool. I believe these are men's, but I'm going to have to do a double check. These are like um, olive green, military, army, cargo style. And they have all these like big heavy zippers and all the zippers have Hugo Boss branding. These are so cool. Drawstring in the waist. Let me see. US 36 regular. So I think these are a men's. They are very cool pants. They're, they're made so well. It's a gorgeous brand. Why do some brands like that? Just like, they're so expensive and yet the resale on them is not that great. You guys are probably gonna laugh at me for this because this is a cold water creek dress. Like that's not even a great brand, but I sell it. <laughs> Size large, this is that like spandex knit, kind of like Chico's Travelers. It's a long maxi. You can get a lot more money, you guys, for long maxis. Think about it. It's like an entire outfit. And this is just a spandex knit floral dress. Probably a lovely middle-aged woman like me would love to wear that. <laughs> this is Polly. I'm not sure if it's Polly. There's several different Pollys. I thought this was really cute for spring. It's seersucker. Green and white seersucker. Little mini dress with some smocking in the back. Really cute, right? Here's another bra by Soma. I love picking up Soma bras. They're selling between 15 and 20 plus shipping for me. This is a beautiful, beautiful lace bra. I know there's some other ones in here. Here's another Soma bra. Do you list bras? Consider it. They're really easy. This is a Boho Elagin look brand that I've sold a lot Fridays. And this is a linen top, 100% linen. I've sold this brand a lot. Do you guys find it? I'm here in Northern California. I'm an hour north of San Francisco. It's like boho heaven, linen heaven. So this is a brown button down, 100% linen top. This I bought for me, a really pretty like tablecloth tapestry piece of fabric. Isn't that print so nice? And it feels like it's maybe a lightweight cotton or something along like table runner. I love getting stuff like this at the bands. I will let you know, I did not buy quilts today. There were a couple quilts, 
old vintage tattered up quilts, which I love, but it's getting ridiculous. Like I have a little, I have an armoire that's full of my linens and it's like, how many quilts do you need? And then I think, well, if somebody comes over, a guest, I could make them up a nice bed with a quilt, but we don't have guests as often as we would like. So no more quilts for me. Okay, another beautiful large bra by Miss Mary in a 42D. Really pretty, like, light blue lacy bra, I'm telling you. Buy bras. This is Style & Co. Mature woman's brand, but it's a 2X. 2XT, but look at that knotted front detail. People are... See, this is the thing. This time of year, it's like... People are looking for spring and summer, but spring and summer items are not as profitable. So we have to get creative as resellers because... In the winter, you can sell cashmere sweaters for 40 or 50 bucks or jackets, you know, but in the summer and spring, you have like shorts, swimwear, t-shirts. That's what people want. But how much money are they really going to pay for a pair of shorts or a t-shirt? But you need to have it in your store for people. These I pick up when I see them. This is Lucky Brand Extra Large. These men's Lucky Brand Henley tops still sell for like 18 Black. Faded black Henley men's t-shirt. They feel awesome. Another pair of Levi's. If you watched my part one, which I hope you did. If not, you better go back and watch it after this one. Um, I bought a lot of Levi's. These ones are really cool and they're a big size. Levi's jeans. These are a 4232. They're really nice. They're like an off-white kind of straight leg men's Levi's jeans. Now the problem with this is... For a bins, $349 is pretty expensive. That's like double what I pay when I drive to the Sacramento bins. So say these weigh a pound and a half. I'm paying five bucks. That's, do I want to pay five bucks for jeans at the bins? Mm. So I think when I go next time, I'm going to try and focus more on lighter weight items like this. This big giant bin I'm putting everything in is going to fall over. It's, I'll show it to you when we're done. It's crazy how much stuff this really is. This, I love. This is Prana. I love selling Prana. This is a newer Prana piece. I can tell by the tag. There we go. Prana, size small but oversized. It says, clothing for positive change. This is like a periwinkle lavender rayon top with a balloon sleeve. It, or I think it's rayon. It might be Tencel. It feels awesome. Uh, let's find out. Uh, this is like one of my favorite finds. This brand sells really well, too. Here we go. 100% Tencel. Tencel and Lyocell are pretty much the same thing, though. That lovely, silky fabric. I just love this. That is so pretty. It'll look so good when I get everything steamed up and washed up. So, please. Okay, I don't know if you can tell, like, how much stuff this is. This is one of those oversized big tubs. And this is a lot of stuff. I actually should go through right now for you guys, right? And count it up. So I'll do that. All right, I'm, I'm back at home and I just wanted to show you. I think this might give you a better idea of how much stuff, like how much stuff this really is. Because in the trunk of my car, I don't think you could really tell. Um, I think I'll count up all the items and then we can see my total and how much. We could do cost averaging and just say, okay, I got... 60 items and it was this much and so each item cost this much we could do that i gotta do a haul for you guys asap baby washed up so please let me know what you think of this haul i know it was a lot i appreciate you watching so much and guess what the bins is only open on friday and saturday but friday is a really good day for me they're doing this like limited run to see how it goes so it's gonna be friday and saturday nine to three very limited hours, but Friday's a great day. I don't see psychotherapy clients on Friday, so this channel might end up having a lot more bins hauls. What do you think of that? I appreciate you so much for watching and for all your support. Love you and can't wait to see you in the next video.